Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shex Conquest, Episode 8, Prickly Situation. Okay, almost done. I'm also making sure not to use their uh, boots either because they physically slow you down. Good to see you again. Alright, they have 10k, so they'll, they'll have plenty of money uh, to to afford the garbage. The other thing I want to make sure is that I'm keeping the best possible weapons. So, I think Rusting Blade is probably the lowest quality that I would consider. But I'm going to make sure that everybody in my group has at least a Rusting Blade quality weapon. Uh, this one's a little bit better than Rusting Blade. Mechnaur, you need a helmet. Oh, and that's actually a standard quality helmet, so that's that's better. And then this skirt came from the boss as well, so it's high grade. But still, it slows you down. Um, let's put the katana here and grab the mid-grade salvage from that, which is higher quality. Um... Rockfin doesn't have a helmet, but I'm not going to save a helmet for him. He'll get one later on. Alright, so we got... Don't need that. Need that. Okay, yeah. I, I'm, I'm basically geared up like a dust bandit now. And I have a little bit, there's a, there's a little bit more loot here. Let me just grab it. Oops. Wait, who's? Uh, maybe Kang's the wrong person to grab it because his inventory is full. And uh, Rain's actually going to grab and keep the horse chopper here because it, um, the longsword is, uh... no, the longsword's better. Never mind, I take that back. Usually the smaller weapons aren't as good, but in this case they are. And everybody is going to go back to work, except for Rain. I'm going to keep her jobs off. She's going to continue cleaning up the remainder, making sure that I didn't miss anything. So it looks like you still have pants. Now, if I, if I really had a lot of money, which currently I don't, I only have 10k, which is not that much. Another thing that I could do to all these guys that are unconscious is I could heal them, um, either to use them as training dummies, like live training dummies, or uh, to just level up my medical skill. But it's expensive, because obviously I'm using my own medicine to do it, so I'm not going to bother. Screw the dust bandits. Okay, so I think we're all, all tidied up. I'll turn her jobs back on. And Rockvin is somehow... I think I issued a movement order for him to... Um, to reset. Oh, who are these guys? Slave mongers. Okay, stay away from them. That would be bad. Looks like I'm running straight at them. <laughs> I'm gonna quick save, just in case. You tend to met up the dying minutes? Yeah, I mean, you could. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying it does cost medical supplies. And if you're strapped for cash, that's kind of an, you know, expensive. But it's, it's totally up to you. Magni, thanks for the sub, by the way. Alright, so at this way station, I'm looking for two wheat straw. Uh, the two wheat straw is going to allow me to get the wheat straw farming, which is a prerequisite for the cactus farming. Why is it a prerequisite? I have no idea. It just is. Am I not going backpack for any strength training? We didn't vote for that, so, so no. It, I'm... I'm just working on that priority there. Ignoring all else. For the most part. Oh yeah, there's the uh, robotics workshop nested back here. So let me let me show you this. This is a tiny robotics workshop. But let me show you this anyway. Uh, because this will have some available um, extra arms. So here are like nicer arms. And I, I can actually afford these. So if you take a look at the limb that Rockfin has... He has a Hiver-made uh, economy arm, which is 
it's actually not that terrible. It has low max health of only 75, so it's kind of easy to break. And it has a dexterity penalty and a swimming penalty, which is kind of a problematic. But the rest of the negatives there don't really matter for a Shaq. Uh, but if you take a look at some of these arms here, uh, they actually have dexterity positive, which means that they operate better than a normal arm. Um, so you can definitely... Yeah, here's like a masterwork uh, skeleton leg at athletics 10%, and that's not even a particularly fast leg. You can get limbs that are stronger than organic limbs, um, but one of the rules that we have is now no de no intentional delimbing. I will not purposely try to lose limbs or anything. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, chat. Come on, get done talking to me. Ugh. I asked him uh, where I might find ancient books, which are kind of illegal, and he's going on a spiel about it. All right, show me what you have. Two wheat straw. There it is. And then... Here we go. Here's some furniture. I'm going to buy these as well because I have the money for it. So here's basic furniture for stools, benches, tables, etc. Oh, it's already known. Uh, but here's random furniture, support beams, display stands, rusty sinks, etc. I don't have those. I'll buy that. And um, I'm going to buy all of the research books, basically, that I can carry on me. Which is only 12 of them. It's something. Let me check into the bar here. There's possible that there's like random check able to be recruited. What is your name? Flashbox? Okay. Uh, Scorchlander, human. You're Shek, and you don't want to talk to me. You're also a dust bandit sitting at the bar? Interesting. Hivers, Scorch, and humans. The barman's uh, Shek. Let's see what he has, because I'm probably hungry. Not that I have room for any of it. I could... Grab a scavenger backpack. Um, but I, I'd rather just save my money. Now, what about you, Spade? Oh, he's a merc bodyguard. I can hire him to follow me around, but I don't need that either. Uh, the mercenary is a pretty useful early game when you're just starting a new base and your base is getting attacked regularly, but you don't have the manpower or the um, or the force to be able to defend against it. Um, but they aren't, they aren't uh, permanent... You know, they're not permanently hired. They're just hired for a few days. Yeah, so there's nothing else here for me. I'm going to head back to the hub. With 12 books and some wheat straw. Oh, Lord. You really just don't want to operate properly. There we go. Torches have been turned on. What is a plastic surgeon? A plastic surgeon allows you to change your name and the way you look. What the heck are you doing, Poetic? That is not the copper I want you to mine. Once he's done with that note, I'm going to force him back over to the, the proper one. Oh, now what is Rain doing? Uh, you know what? I am going to destroy this copper storage. And this is one of those songs that gets stupid loud, so I'll fix the music volume in a minute. Right, I'm pulling up stakes on this old, um, this old copper area so that my guys stop trying to invest in it. Which is uh, bugging me a little bit. I'd rather have everything nice and collected here. So Poetix is going to hand off the building materials and we have four of them now. It's slow going, especially with our population numbers, but we are working to fix that.
That doesn't look right. There we go. Rain, you no longer have to haul to storage. Okay, so he has one metal plate that he shouldn't have, but that's not that big of a deal. Or she ha rather has one metal plate. I'll just I'll put it away just to make sure that the uh, inventories don't fill up. All right, so until... Is anyone going to starve before Rockvin gets home? Nope, everyone's fine. So let me just keep an eye on Rockvin. He's almost in the hub already. And then we'll have him work on farming. So in, in, in order to uh, unlock the research that I need to unlock, what I need to do is actually physically stick the weak straw into the research bench, or it won't count. So I'll show you that. If I open up the research here, and I want to do wheat straw farming, it says I don't have any wheat straw. I have to actually put it into the bench to queue it up. And then... Uh, before I do anything else, I need to get one building material for a torch. And grab two cacti from Ruka, who... Why aren't you hauling to storage? Oh, uh, she can't haul to storage because she physically has no room. Uh, because her... Inventory's full of cactus. Okay, hold on. Uh, if is that. Trade. We'll just fill rock fins up with cactus so that Ruka can actually hold a storage. Alright, so Rockfin now has the cactus he needs, but he never got the building material. Because I got distracted. I'm going to drop two cactus on the ground here. Now, cactus raw, like, isn't edible. You have to cook it. So, that's another thing is just getting cactus alone isn't enough. You need to actually get the technology to be able to cook into something. And now, I'm researching. I see my interaction point, so I can put a torch right behind me. So, I'm not doing it in the dark. And stick the two cactus in the research bench. And that will allow me to get cactus farming. And then I also probably am going to want desert cooking, which allows me to cook the cactus. And I don't really need to worry about anything else at the moment. So, we're getting that underway. Oh, hey, a random dust bandit camp just got wiped. Maybe because the last of the members... Uh, these were the last of the members, and they all just died, let out. Yep. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Alright, the uh, next thing I'm going to ask you all is this. Uh, additional research investments. I can continue down the... I can continue down the um, the farming tree if you want me to. Uh, but what I can tell you is desert cooking, cactus farming it is going to be enough to keep us fed for now. So if you want me to do more of that, that's totally cool. I will. But if you want to see something else, uh, feel free to vote. Atmospheric loud noises. This is volume at 5%. For the record. Another thing that I could build here uh, is storage. So I could do just a general item storage. Um, to be able to store just whatever. General storage box. Or general storage chest. So I'm going to do a general storage chest kind of in the door. Which costs one building material that, because Ruka has um, has built up a nice amount of raw stone already, I'm going to have her run that over to the hub and build it. How does industry differ from smithing? So let me show you the tech tree. That's a good question. 
smithing is weapons and armor, and industry is improving our ability to make um, building materials and iron. So one, one gives us the raw resources for the other. Sort of like chicken and the egg a little bit. All right, wheat straw farming is now unlocked. So if you take a look at the farming here, uh, we can now set up wheat straw farms. As you can see, the crop utility, the crop yield is lower uh, because of the arid environment, but it's not zero. It's just not as good as what a cactus is going to be. Now, the other thing is I'm going to need a well. And um, yeah, that will be for, for when we do farming. I have to figure out where to put it at some point in a water tank. All right, so smithing is going to win. So current goal is set up a cactus farm and research some smithing. Yo, Rooker, get back here. I ain't done. So taking a look at the research here. Smithing, we can do... Hmm. I'm going to do basic weapon grades and I'm also going to research beds. I know it's not part of smithing, but it's going to be kind of needed and basic weapon grades yet again. And then I'm going to want to buy some more books, which I have tons of copper to do. Tons and tons of copper. Ooh, a pet Yoda. Hey, buddy. He's a happy pup. You think you all can agree on beds? Yeah. Beds are kind of essential. There are some free beds here in the hub, but I don't want to use the free beds. I don't want to... I'm, I'm not a squatter if I can help it, so... You know, we'll get beds of our own. Another thing that I'm going to want to be on my buy, on my purchase list is fabrics for the beds. Uh, taking a look. They don't have any sold, so I'll probably have to get back to a way station at some point. Uh, Ms. Ruka here is going to turn off her current priorities so that she can run some copper trades for me. And I'll leave Yoda up. He's just too adorable right now. Right, let's run down to the rubble base and see if their uh, selection is any different. Getting at least one backpack would be pretty handy. And uh, cheers. One backpack would also allow us to do, if it was a trading backpack, would allow us to do um, uh, possibly some important strength training. Not, not not purposeful, but just as a result of wearing the backpack. Uh, nope. That is a no joy here. They do have some other heavy weapons that are kind of decent, like a hold saber. But no fabrics. Uh, some books that I'll buy, and some food that I'll buy that I can share with the rest of the crew, making sure that everyone's um, fed. Do I ever plan to revisit Stationers? So, the games I play on stream are, at least for these Thursday time slots, the one that, you know, you're watching now, is determined by public, public polls. So, I'll revisit, um, I'll revisit it as soon as it wins a poll. If, it, uh, if there's enough public demand that it wins, sure. If it doesn't, then then no. I have the best dogs. What's with the second trader in the Rebel base? Uh, they have, they're linked to the same store, so they have the same everything. I.e., totally ignore them. It doesn't. They don't. They're not consequential at all. All right, McNower is the next hungriest, and. Trapper Keeper will get this. Alright, 
Ripka. Let's go ahead and grab some more copper. And we're about to get the cactus farming research done. The next thing I should probably research is uh, getting tech level 3. That's going to be really important for a lot of essential pieces of um, research. So I, I need to build up my books to get 10 books. But now with the cactus farm, I'm going to have... Uh, I might have Rook and Kang uh, change jobs so that Kang can do the uh, construction. Is the Falling Sun a good uh, heavy weapon? Yeah, especially against animals. It's a particularly good one if you're trying to murder uh, critters. But yeah, it is good. Hm, there's even a bounty for elves here. Um, let's see. What do I want to buy? Some Gohan. And... Books. So we have seven books now. Not the ten we need, but we're getting there. Rockfin, you hung? Oh, yeah, Rockfin's hungry, too. Om nom nom. Hobo, Billy Joel, thanks for the resub. <laughs> I like the name. I think what I'm going to do is uh, sub in someone that doesn't really have particularly high athletics and have them run to the way station in order to run the trade. Because running those errands is a good way to build the, the athletics. So taking a look, Trapper Keeper and McNower would be uh, the people to do that. So, let's see. Ruka, you go back to work. And I am slightly encumbered with McNower, or with Trapper Keeper. So I'm going to drop my Heart Protector just on the ground here. And then... I'm going to see. Is, is there... I think there's a closer... Way station other than the border zone one? Maybe? Let me double check the map. And the map says... I am... No. That's about the closest. Okay. Well, Trapper Keeper, guess what? You're going on a bit of a haul. And try not to get uh, gutted in the stomach. Because I see that your stomach HP is a little low. Here is the errand. I had her drop the, the heart protector because it slowed her down by two miles an hour, and it's really important to be able to outrun. Um, to be able to outrun, you know, bandits and the like when you're uh, running errands like this. Or you die. So now with the cactus, I can set up a cactus farm. Now, how many do I have? I have uh, the two down here. So two plus... Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So if I check farming, cactus small requires ten cactus. So I have I have enough for about a, a small cactus farm. And what we could do is we can just continually reinvest. Here, let me put myself on. We continually reinvest the cactus into larger farming until we have like an XL or something like that. Uh, but the other thing that I'm going to need to manage is to get uh, the well. Because without a source of water, uh, it doesn't really matter. Because, you know, farms need water. So, I don't think it really matters where I put this. Because taking a look at uh, the water, it's ubiquitously 60. So, I'm going to put the farm sort of between these two processing facilities. So, uh, let's, let's do that. We are going to do farming. A well here. Or, uh, let me... Set up the cactus farm first. Right there. Looks good. And then a well next to it. And a water tank next to it. So the well 
can, is worked at to produce water that you then store in the water tank. And then Mr. Kang is going to get engineering. So, as you can see, he automatically grabbed a cactus and is adding it to the farm. And this requires iron plates, this requires building materials, and, uh, yeah, different, depending on your biome, water availability will change. And then another thing that we're going to want to do is cooking. So if we go to food, uh, cooking stove, and cooking stoves, as you can see, must be placed inside of a building. So for now, I'm just going to put a really small shack here. I'm not, I don't, I want to minimally invest. Uh, and this small shack will just have like a table, chairs, and a cooking stove in there with like a light source or something. There's a bandit raid coming. Oh, is there? Yeah, there is. Black uh, Dragon Ninjas. Where are they? Uh, they're here. So they're not very close. I have some time. Thanks for seeing that. I, I definitely missed that myself. I'll just walk into the hub. Not much of a worry there. So then once the small shack is built... Uh, we can stick a cooking stove in there and be able to start cooking up food. Rockfin, where are you? What are you doing? I don't know at all what he is doing. He ran out of the hub to go on some errand I didn't tell him to, to go to. <laughs> Well, I'll have to keep keep an eye on him, because he's a shifty fellow. Another thing the Trapper Keeper will be able to do... Yeah, so I'm, I'm heading out to the way station here, mostly for the science books. But, you know, for whatever else I might want, like uh, backpacks and the like. And as he's running, his athletics is going to... Or her, I think her. Her, definitely her. Her athletics are going to, be going to increase, and she'll become faster and faster and faster. Alright, so there's the well. And you work at it with one worker. Uh, wells can be upgraded in the tech tree as well. So if we go to farming... Uh, well, I can't. I don't have access to it yet. Oh no, here it is. Industry wells. To make uh, wells that are, are um, better. You can also upgrade your stone refinery to be powered for speed, but I don't have power out here, so that would be a bad idea. And the dragon raid is here, coming. I still have plenty of time. I could lock his door, just lock him in. Oops, I just let him go, didn't I? Where, in order to do that, you can just uh, close the door And lock the door. And now he can't leave. <laughs> and that, that way I don't have to babysit him. How much more tech do I have queued up? Uh, he has about six hours of tech left. Okay, let's go over to Trapper Keeper. She's making a run out to the way station. Make sure she's uh, doing that. The, uh, the Black Dragon Raiders are going to pass by her, but not close enough that I think she'll be messed with. Because she's cutting from the path now. Alright, Trap Keeper. And there's the water tank. King getting that up. And that stores up to 100 water. And then last but not least is... Oh, I'm out of building material. So, Ruka, uh, let's have you stop... Mining stone, because I have 16 of it, which is plenty. And uh, go for building material. And then another thing I'm going to have is these two are going to help with the industry. Whoa. So I'm going to cancel their current uh, copper mining. Which I was only really doing to make money. And I'm less concerned about money and more concerned about industry right now. So Poetic is going to go join Brooka and Kang on the manual stone processor. 
and then Rain is going to uh, get the well up. I don't really need the building just yet. So what I'm going to do is have Kang go grab the eight cactuses, cacti, uh, necessary to finish off the farm. And, uh, and get that farm going. Get that farm starting to produce for us. While rain builds up water supply. Alright, they're still moving towards me. They're taking the sort of northern path. Alright, so here's Trapper Keeper arriving at the way station yet again. Or, well, her for the first time, but second time I've been here. Oh, I asked the wrong question again. Ugh. Gotta stop doing that. So if you were curious, these are harpoons. These are mounted crossbow Mark II's. Anyone that comes through that door that is not wanted gets shot. Same with these. Very, very, very powerful. Can kill you in one shot if you're not careful. Okay, bought all books. I also am going to buy the fabrics. And then we'll check next door maybe for some food. The people in this bar really haven't changed, so there's no point in checking for recruits or anything like that. Alright, so there's some food and uh, anything else. Nope, I think that about does it. Uh, I'm going to buy a map of the swamps too. And that will add the swamp POIs. Shark, Swamp Village 1, Swamp Village 2. There's other, uh, there's other points of interest in the swamp, but um, those are the major ones. And Trapper Keeper is now heading home, uh, being very, very encumbered by these books. So I got to be careful about what she runs into. Because she... I could always just shed stuff and drop it on the ground and run. But if she starts blinking from being targeted, I'm going to have to uh, pay attention to her and get her to run away quickly. Alright, so these are the cactuses that he needs. And we'll get that done. We'll get that made. Am I enslaving Rockvin at the research bench? Ooh, I don't know. Kind of seems that way. So now that I know that I have, um... I have a lot of research books coming. Uh, I can... Queue up some research to help me make more iron plates. Well, actually, you guys said I should do smithing, right? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to wait until I get core, because that will lead to a bunch of smithing. All right, Trapper Keeper so far. She's only a few steps away from that uh, outpost. The raid is imminent, but not quite here yet. I'm not entirely sure why they targeted me. Also, I don't really see them moving on the world map. And there we go. We have the farm. So, Rain is going to be our farmer. Because nothing like a big warrior lady being a farmer. So, which, what I just had her queue up is she's going to operate the cactus farm. Which is to say, basically just haul water there. To make sure that we have water at the cactus farm. And... Then, when she's not watering the cactus farm, just getting water from the well. Very, very, very straightforward. Why aren't you hauling to storage? Oh, because you probably don't have room. There we go. Yeah, and now... Whenever there's building materials available, uh, Kang is using them to build this shack. Nice. Dastardly Dino, thanks for the resub. Speed time up. 
and beds have been researched. Beds are very, very, very important. So, um, one thing that we're going to want eventually, here's a weaponsmith that I could build. One thing that we're going to want eventually is uh, to, to set up um, beds sort of everywhere we have outposts so that we can heal. They're really useful tools to be able to heal. So here they are. It costs four fabrics each. So I bought four fabrics from that uh, outpost. If we want to make our own fabrics, we're going to have to farm for them somehow or another with either hemp or uh, cotton. And the yields that we get of hemp and cotton in the arid biome is terrible. Um, so that's another thing to, to think about. So the raid is just like right over the horizon here um this is as far as i can i can pan away from where my people are but as far as i could tell they haven't moved i think they're stuck so you know i'm not gonna really fret about that trapper keepers on our way back and has sped up by one mile an hour gaining athletics they always seem to be stuck for you there, too. Yeah, well, this isn't where my permanent base is going to be. This is just where I'm collecting material for the base. Oh, uh, but we do have some starving hungry bandits. Cute. I like how they uh, they made their demands while, like, hundreds of feet away from me. And then they're like, fine, have it your way. Are obviously hungry for a fight. Um, I am not going to let Rockfin sit out on this one, though. So, just because they're hungry bandits, I don't think I'm really going to need to rely upon the city guard. But I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have everyone grouped together uh, so that we're one cohesive group before fighting. Poor Trapper Keepers, just like, guys, don't forget about me. Also seems to me that um, no matter what, they always target Ruka. Okay, so they're starting to hit her, so, uh... Because we're so outnumbered, this actually might be a bit of a tough fight. We'll see. It depends on, um, how well Rain and Kang do. Chopping these guys up. But Ruka, one of the issues that Ruka has is her weapon is way too heavy for her. I'm too stubborn to change it. Like, I acknowledge that it's too heavy, but I don't really care. And she's unconscious. Not terribly, but... It's a good way to level up your toughness, though. And I'll, I'll make sure that we don't, like, lose this. But even if we lost it, all they do is they bug me for my lunch money. They're just they're just trying to feed themselves, steal my food. So, Poetic's unconscious. Uh, Alright, Ruka, start patching yourself up. And what I can do is just make sure that uh, Rockfin stays conscious the whole time to be able to patch people up. Luring whatever bandits want to be lured over to the uh, over to the hub for the guards to be able to deal with. Because the guards are still much, much, much stronger than I am. Ooh, even King went down. But uh, getting knocked unconscious like this is quintessential Kenshi, and you're going to need to have it happen to you a lot. And it's safest to get knocked out Although, Ruka now, um, at this point, her leg is so messed up that I'm going to have her actively avoid fighting. Because I don't want to lose a leg, if I can help it. I'm not supposed to purposely delim anyone. McNower's doing pretty good. How's oh, Fang? Fang's alright. King's, uh, King's chest is a little caved in. In fact, uh, Rockfin's... Stomach is uh, not in a good way either. I'm trying to get... Uh... Yeah, we're, we're winning this, though. If, if you take a look, there's more of us standing than them. So it's it's fairly inevitable that uh, that this will... This will end positive for us. So I'm sending Rockfin back in. The weapons that these Hungry Bandits have just are not worth the time and effort to loot because they're so inexpensive. So I'm just going to leave it on the ground. The Hunger Bandit leader might have a uh, 
a horse chopper, but everybody else's blades are going to suck. And there we go. Yeah. Fight one. Uh, definitely an indicator here. Oh, let me not use that kind of run mode. Definitely an indicator that we are, um, we are in need of beds, recovery beds. And let's check on Trapper Keeper, who just missed out on that lovely fight. I will say pretty definitively that Bra Black Dragon raid there, it's not coming. The Black Dragon ninjas, we might be able to go out to it, but it would, they would kick our butts. So, there's not much of an advantage to voluntarily go get our butts kicked. I'm going to hard pass on that. Uh, where is the bandit leader? Orange Chaos, thanks for gifting out a sub. Awesome. And these guys probably outnumbered us nearly two to one. And uh, we still won, but, you know, we're Sheck, and we have some combat experience. But it's not saying much, because we're just, we're just barely better than, like, starving bandits is not really a claim to fame. Um, so everybody is going to come back into the hub. I'm not going to use any free beds. I want to pay for my my um, my bedding. It's the, it's the right proper th way to go. And oh, even more Hungry Man has just rolled in to my home. Do I need some sandals? You see one? Oh yeah, I do need sandals. And one of them probably has sandals, don't they? Probably the leader has sandals. Uh, I don't actually see any sandals on them. Do you? I'm checking all the mangled bodies. I, uh... I can't see I actually see any uh, sandal wares. Unless I'm blind. Alright, let's go. So, the ones that are unconscious are going to get uh, placed in first, and then Rockfin so he can continue research. Or not unconscious, but like, uh, Ruka is also, um, you know, critically, you know, her leg almost got lopped off, so. I should be able to highlight bodies with left alt to be able to see, yeah. I don't, um, yeah, I don't, I don't even see a, a bandit leader in this cluster. I, I think this was a, a splinter group that didn't even have a leader. So now Rockfin, Ruka, and Poetic are resting. And these five are just going to go back to work. While Trapper Keeper runs in. Uh, how far are you? Trapper Keeper's not that far now. Under the tree? Oh, was it? Aura needs sandals, so let's see if I can't find them. Where? Oh, Jesus, the camera jumpiness. I don't really see anyone under this tree that has, uh, has anything like that. Yeah, you might have just seen them on my down people. Again, it all right. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. They're just sandals, so spending uh, an enormous amount of time trying to find a pair of sandals is a waste of time. IMO. I'd rather. They're not expensive. I could easily buy it. Rain is going to need um, a torch here, and then we're also going to want torch posts to illuminate the farm as well. So I'll have four tor torch posts on the four corners of the farm. It's not going to be perfect uh, for illumination, but it it's going to be better than nothing. And now I'm just waiting for... So Poetic is now conscious. Rook's leg is almost above zero. And Rockvin uh, soon will go back to research. Trapper Keeper is almost at the hub. And Trapper Keeper is going to drop off all those books. And fabrics, so I can actually own a bed of my for myself, which is uh, something different, something a little different. Okay, here we are. So the books will go 
into the research bench. And then I'll put the fabrics uh, in the general storage chest, which can just store a little bit of whatever you want to throw in it. Uh, Rockfin is healed up enough that I'm going to have him go and set up the bed that I wanted where Trapper Keeper then gets uh, rehired at the refinery. So Rockfin, let's go ahead and set up that bed. And we have this song here that is deafening. I'm already at 5%. Whatever, I'll just, I'll just cope with it. So for interior beds, I'm just going to lay them out uh, maybe along the wall here. I could put all the beds on the second level. Eh, I guess I could do that. Put all the industry on the first level. That works. Second level. Interior, beds. And we'll start here. It also wouldn't be terrible for me to unlock skeleton beds at some point. Skeleton beds are beds that allow you to repair um, robotics. And of course, Rockfin has a robotic arm that has 68 out of 75 max points. So it's suffering a penalty from being uh, broken. And then uh, Rockfin's going to need to run and, and grab. Uh, I'll just do that now. Bandit Raid has arrived at Mining Outpost. Oh yeah, they actually they actually showed up. Well, it's time for me to bounce. Because I'm already beat up from the last one. So Kang, is there I'll just buy a building material, it's fine. Let's have them leave. I'm surprised they uh they managed to get unstuck. And they're talking that they can't face going back to the boss empty handed again. And their boss um, uh, they're the Black Dragon, uh, Ganon, so they have a kind of a famous boss name, uh, well, they have two famous bosses, right? I'm not gonna spoil it, saying anything beyond that, but they are known, is what I will say. But unfortunately, um, there's no, nothing for them to pillage here. Not that they would pillage anyway. Raids in Kenshi are a rather uncomplicated, in that they, all they try to do is they try to, like, loot you. And that and kill you, and that's it. They don't actually steal anything. So later on, once we have a well-established town, I will try to have a rule of we don't retreat. We like fight everything. But for now, it doesn't make sense to throw ourselves needlessly at the uh, Black Dragon again and and get functionally massacred. So I I won't be doing that. All right, Rockfin, let's get you back on the research bench. And then Rain will finish up this bed. I'm just not going to be out there while that, uh... I, they prob- yeah, they already left. As far as I could tell. Yeah, they already just booked it. They were like, yeah, there's nothing of value, so... Time for us to leave. Putting everyone back to work. And Kang, actually, you stick around because I'm going to have Kang uh, heal in the bed in my home, the first one. Won't slavers steal your characters? Yeah, they would. But they're not slavers. Those are just the Black Dragon, Dragon Ganon. They're just um, like criminal ninja things. They're, they're not slavers, specifically. But yeah, you definitely don't want to get knocked out by slavers. Worse yet would be getting knocked out by um, cannibals, because... Or, or anything that cannibalizes, because then there's nothing left. You're just, you're just done. Alright, so taking a look at the tech tree here, we are going to go tech level 3. Kang, Kang, Kang. Where are you going? No, I, I don't care if you have building materials. Get over there. <laughs> And uh, we're finishing up the basic weapon grades to be able to make, like, okay-ish weapons. 
from King. I want you in that bed. Rain can go back to work. Managing the farm. All right. Oh, God, no, they haven't left. They just stuck themselves inside of my uh, small shack in a weird huddle. Um, I'm going to quickly save and uh, load just to make sure that everything's going well. When am I planning to start my own uh, city approximately? Uh, I'm going to start my own city when I am ready. And by that, I mean when I'm able to defend myself. And the measure of that depends on where I put the city. But you don't want to jump to it too soon, because that's a very fatal thing for you to do. Okay, so clearly I'm currently being raided, and the raiders don't even know what to do. They're just sort of standing around inside my shed, so okay. Again, like, I am legend vampires just hanging out here. But if you take a look at their stats, you know, they've got around mid-20s, 30s of attack, defense, dexterity. They're they're not, they're not pushovers. They are definitely stronger than... They're about as... Each one of them is about a Rain or a Kang in terms of strength thereabouts. And Rain and Kang are definitely the strongest among us, so... Um, not people to mess with. Cheers. Down the hatch. Ooh. Mm, that one burned. All right, Rook could go back to work. Poetic. Go back to work. And Fang, go back to work. We're healed up enough. Okay, so weapon grades have been researched. Now we're doing tech level three. And Kang, I'm going to let rest up a little bit longer. Who the heck are you? Oh, more dust bandits. Won't they eventually attack me? I think they're broken. I don't think they're going to attack me. I don't even think I have a building, so they don't even know what to do. I could be wrong. Well, no, no, something's messing with Ruka. Why are you... Wait, what? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I thought it was somewhere else. A bunch of uh, dust bandits came in to mess with her. I thought she had wandered over to, like, stack or something stupid. But no, she she was doing, she was fine. I, I was mistaken. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shack's Conquest, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 14th. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to all of my Twitch subscribers and Patreon patrons for supporting the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.